there is a way for Ryan Garcia to win this fight. I think part of the problem, too, what some of the knock on Ryan Garcia is you guys see him as this TikToker and YouTuber. You gotta remember how young he is. He's been boxing since he was seven, 15 time world champ. Not easy, man. Out of the two of them, they're both undefeated and they're both knockout artists. I would say Javante Davis is more powerful, is a scarier fighter to, to face. I'd say Ryan's the quicker fighter. Ryan's going to have to be on his bike. He's going to have to, for, for 12 rounds, we're facing a guy in Javante Davis who has that kind of power that you're born with. There's no gym. There's no coach. There's no bag you can work on to get that power. That is a God-given gift. Javante Davis has a God-given gift. Ryan Garcia has a God-given gift in his speed, but his power isn't, thing we, any, isn't anything we haven't seen. But when you combine the power with the quickness is when Ryan knocks people out. We don't know shit about Javante Davis' chin, and it will get tested in this fight. Ryan's too quick. He's going to land stuff. And in order for Tank to win this fight, he has to walk through some shit. And that shit is the quickness and speed of Ryan Garcia, which could leave him open. So we're going to find out, is Tank, I think, the pound-for-pound pound best right now, outside Canelo, but right now, is he pound-for-pound pound best right now? What's he like when he gets hit? If he does get knocked down, how does he recover? This fight ain't going to decision. If it goes to decision, I think Ryan wins. I think Ryan wins, and he can't give up rounds early either. You, you got to win those early rounds. You got to put that money in the bank early on, stay on your bike, outmaneuver him, use your quickness, and wait for Javante, who I think probably has a higher boxing IQ and has you know a little more experience too when it comes to the big fights and the big pressure fights and has faced tougher adversity. So I do think there's a way for Ryan to win. Not going to be easy. We need Tank to step out of pocket and make some mistakes, and you need Ryan to land with his speed and quickness. And even so, if that does land, the question is, is that enough to get Tank out of there? We haven't really seen Tank get hit. Definitely haven't seen him get knocked down like Ryan. We've seen Ryan get knocked down, get back up, and finish the dude off in Campbell. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, questions to be answered here. You got to give Ryan credit. He's running towards this, which is insane. Tank is no punk. So we're going to find out. I'm rooting for Tank. I'm sorry, I'm rooting for Ryan. I'm rooting for Ryan all the way. I'm a, I'm a homer. I'm biased. Ryan's my boy. I think he can get it done if he's, he has to, it has to be the best performance of his life. The very best. I think they do run this fight back two or three times. So I'm excited for it though, man. I'm super excited for it.